good day Zambians on the eve of the new year 2022 as we are crossing over from 2021 I want to urge my fellow Zambians the youth our mothers and fathers out there that let us reflect on the challenges which we are faced with in 2021 as we face 2022. We had tripartite elections in 2021 and the people of Zambia voted for the UPND and President Dakarinde Echirema to preside over the affairs of this nation. I want to urge the people of Zambia. It's not that Mr. Akainde Ichirema is our boss. Mr. Akainde Ichirema is a servant of the people of Zambia and they should treat him just like that. The promises which they made to the people of Zambia during the campaigns of 2021 prior to the 12th of August, they just have to fulfill those promises without fail. There's no one who taught Mr. Aka in the to promise the people of Zambia the promises which he gave to us as a leader. They're supposed to have three things. They're supposed to be consistent, they're supposed to, be, to have integrity, and supposed to have to be honesty to the things which we do to the people. As we face 2022, knowing now that the UPND came into government through deceit, after lying to the people of Zambia. We want to urge the people of Zambia that hope is not all lost. We are here as politicians to come and restore what the UPND, they have destroyed in your mind. Zambia is our country and there is no any other person who would come to this country and help us to develop this country. This country, it will be developed by us, Zambians. I want to encourage all Zambians, stand up and be counted. Don't fear. Don't fear. Let your voices be heard. This is your country. Be part and parcel of the governance of this great country, Zambia. The people of Zambia, we know the challenges we are faced with today. We know that as we cross over into 2022, if we can recall very well where we are coming from, our mothers and fathers used to prepare all of us. They used to prepare us. We go for shopping. We buy uh, new clothes. We eat as a family. But this won't happen now because the president in State House, he has no heart for the people. And I can assure you that let us organize ourselves. 2026 is not far. 2026 is near. Let us make sure that we put our hands together and face the UPND in 2026. Our job in 2026, we are not going to compete with the UPND. Our job in 2026, we are going to remove the UPND so that we can have a party we can have a government which will be the government for the poor, the government which will preside over the affairs of this nation head on. We don't want to be governed by liars. We don't want the people of Zambia to suffer. President Akainde Ichirema promised us that he's going to reduce the pump fuel price. President Akainde Ichirema promised us that we're going to reduce the tariffs downwards of electricity. President Takainde Ichirema vowed that he won't go to the IMF. President Takainde Ichirema told all of us that we are going to have free education for all. President Takainde Ichirema promised the civil servants that we are going to have a salary increment, 1,500 across the board. All these things President Takainde Ichirema has failed to implement. I want to assure you that all this persecution which we are seeing in our country, targeted fights, it is not necessary. 
we want to urge the government of Akainde Ichirema. As we are facing the 2022, let us be united. Let us reconcile as politicians because we fight a common goal. Our goal is to make sure that we develop this country without leaving anyone behind. Countrymen and women, my fellow youths, I want to urge you that you should never be cheated. You should never be cheated that Mr. Akainde Ichirema has come to rescue this country. Mr. Akainde Ichirema, he was there during the first privatization of this great country's assets. And he has come again just to finish the job which they started. So don't trust President Akainde Ichirema to change our well-being. I can assure the, my fellow youths and men and women out there that Zambia can only be developed by us Zambians. We have everything. We have now nice soils, good rain pattern. We have hardworking people. We have natural resources which God has given us. And we just have to put our hands together and make sure that we develop this country, Zambia. I thank you.